What's up y'all, welcome back to Unguided. I uh, woke up this morning and saw that we just hit 100 subscribers on the channel, so that's freaking awesome. Appreciate the support from everybody. And we're gonna do our best to keep fresh new content coming. Our offshore season has been a little rough. We've had a bunch of mechanical issues with the boat. It's actually in the shop right now. So in the uh, interest of getting content out to you guys, we are gonna go down to the coast tonight and get the gigs out. And we are gonna go look for garfish in the creeks and canals just uh, around Isle of Hope near Savannah, Georgia. And uh, a lot of people don't really uh, eat garfish or didn't know you could, but it's actually known as a Southern delicacy. And we're gonna show you how to clean them, fillet them out, show you how we do it, show you how we prepare it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, we'll see you guys down there. watching unguided guys like and subscribe Good test though, good start, stop test. Oh, yeah. Can trust the motor. Last time I took this motor, it took me 30 minutes to start it. <laughs> and I fixed the idle. And it was let a man borrow your boat and he just starts complaining about the idle. It was at a it was at such a high idle I had to choke her down. Right before it shut off so I could shift and not completely destroy the gearbox. What's the method? The method is dive bomb, kamikaze, I don't know, never named it before. You go at your dock under power and then anticipate shutting it off and coasting into or under the dock and then grabbing a hold of the dock and then working around manpower, no motors. Spit on it. Slap it. <laughs> the old Scotty Waters treatment. Oh, she good. We're waiting on high tide, right? Why are we waiting on high tide? The bait starts moving when the tide changes. So we got about 20 minutes till high I tide. I think they hang out in the deep, like deep channels and 
they only hunt in that at night and under the lights and quick move and like good moving current i think it brings brings the prey into them it's just it's just like shooting fish in a barrel for them and i know exactly where i'm <laughs> legal and it's right here at your porch he's right under the dock there's two of them there's one right there too Coming right out yeah baby all right hold us hold us way to get started there mr strickland <laughs> all right open the cooler Okay. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's perfect eating size. Perfect eating size. One in the hole. Nice. Creek comes in, dead ends. They all get pushed into the back. And then as the tide comes out, they're all getting, they're all working their way out. And they hit these lights and they work their way down river. And you can essentially chase them for a couple hours or something. There we go. Two of them. Oh yeah, that boy Eli. All right, good another, cooler. Another good eating size cooler right here. Bring them in. Two in the hole. Two you know. <laughs> and I, I keep them under the water so they're not thrashing around. Yep. And then I bring them straight to that cooler and we pop them in that cooler and they quit moving. that oh yeah right in the face coming to the cooler oh man he got me oh i busted his beak <laughs> he got me he got me good old good old 90 degrees yeah that got him because he he latched hold of my daggum <laughs> thanks for the sweatpants that was that would have tore my ass that would <laughs> suck Shut up in there. Three in, three in the hole. Oh, what do you think? Probably four or five. Probably be good. When, when they quit coming. Yeah, I mean, let's keep going. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> we'll stop when they stop. <laughs> so we had pretty good little bit of luck in the creeks. We got three on the boat, missed one. Uh, we're going to head Go down right. to the intercoastal right now. A little bit deeper water and see if we can get on moving up there. Oh, there's, there's one right one in front right of there us. There's one on the left. Let's run him down. Oh, this is sick. He's on. Oh, yeah. Knock him off. Front. Okay, to our left, to our left. Yep, right there. Big old joker. I'm about to throw it. Got him. Oh yeah, good, another good size one. <laughs> Ow. Oh, you all right? Oh, shh, shh. <laughs> Catch and release. <laughs> That's how we do catch and release. <laughs> I didn't want to clean that big bastard anyway. Good God. Oh, right here at 12 o'clock. Ah. Good stick. Good stick. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shut him in there good. All right, we got one down below us. Get him off. Oh, there you go. Yep. All right, coming at us. Man, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. Fishing, spirit every day. <laughs> <laughs> Sap, great idea. This is a great idea. 
You have one every once in a while. Ooh, we got one right here. I missed him. No, I didn't. <laughs> Cigar rodeo. Right here. I'm gonna do some cooking. I think we should yeah, move on next segment. <laughs> yeah, I believe. I think, uh, we, I think we got that. I think we got what we, we were believe after. this segment is done. I don't know. It looks like we got about 20 guy fish right here. <laughs> Second order of business. What is that? <laughs> this. And you can see right there. Those are the loins. There's them loins that we're after. Oh, it's a little blurry. Let's try this again. After the head is removed, just the just the top. Nothing. Th this is a separate muscle down here on the belly. No boy, no. Just the loins. That's what we're after. The Pure white meat. The very loins. no fishy taste whatsoever. But this is the only way to. to it's the only way to do it, and most people don't want to do this. <laughs> got, got some, some what you got here got some milks I'm gonna go straight Put in them there fillets and the milk the most vital tool for cleaning guy fish 10 snips and you, you, there's you can get 10 shears and you know whatever whatever have you but you just go in straight backbone where you got your head severed and then gloves are also pretty important in this process but you kind of you gotta go kind of work it in keep that center line best you can and yeah so you snip and then shove work it in there snip shove but these things will cut you once you get your hands inside of that cut line it'll i, I used to do this without gloves and uh you can't do many of them before you're bleeding all over the place and uh, if you can tell I'm grunting a little bit and we're not going to take any meat past this tail um, so we'll stop right there at the tail there's no dorsal fin on these suckers um, but as you can see this side's opening up pretty good so there's like a sinew strap. We'll try to leave that with the uh, fit with the fish, but we'll just start down here because I can see it. So this side's pretty pretty clear. So we'll we'll just give it a little pry prize. And you can kind of run your finger down, but like I said, when you're running back this way, it'll cut you wide open. Um, so right there, you got a center line, a midline and that filet, you're not, we're going to cut that midline right there, that blood, that bloodline. And we're only going to keep what's on top of that bloodline. Everything else is rib meat, tough, real tough. Got a lot of crap sinew. And then I'm just going to 
go in and cut straight out back to the skin and kind of cut against its own skin and just fillet that strap. It's tight quarters. There it is. It's kind of like back strapping a deer, to be honest. That's um, it right there. Boneless white meat fillet. So we'll, we'll we'll trim just trim a little bit off, make it pretty, like we used to do in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Steal all the belly meat, but not with these. You don't need no belly meat out of these guys. Just the sock eyes. From here, you just chop them up into little scallop size. So I'll just I'll just layer over sideways and come in because this. The thing, these things are built like torpedoes or cylinders. Got my big stiff knife. So now we got, see, we got, we got some clearance. Now you can peel it back like you did with the first side. This big long knife is good for these. You can kind of go by feet. You, you, you can't cut through this. I'll, this I want to make chaps out of one day. <laughs> Have me some Garfish chaps. <laughs> I'm, gonna <make> chaps. <laughs> I'm gonna. And boots. I'm gonna have a guard belt boot. Hey, you can probably market that to the right people Buckle. and be like, "This is a high see, dollar." See, this is this is this is playing out nice right here. Oh yeah, and I'm going I've gone beyond where I really need to go, but so the snip line has been made along the top, and it just folds open from there. Everything you need to get to, you can do from the top. Find that that vertebrae. Just run down that vertebrae. See, there's the ribs. Look at That's that. one down. There is a set, there is two separate muscle groups here, and we're really only after this one, right? Above this this way of my finger, just this stuff right here. I mean, it, it I've eaten it and it's good, but you got there is more uh, texture. This top back strap's just much more tender. Clean white meat does not taste like fish. It tastes like whatever you cook it in, and butter and garlic. And it's, it really is poor man's lobster. It's got that firm, and it cooks white. As, it'll be as white as that milk when it yeah. comes out of the fryer. You can broil it, grill it, fry it. There's so many ways you can do it. Yeah, the Louisianans, they, uh, they cook it all and then mash it up and put it into a crab cake. I'm gonna bait the crab trap with this belly meat. Good call, good call. Catch some blue crab while we at it. And this, bombs away. This is all in uh, dedication to Reed Channel. He loves garfish. It's his favorite. It's his favorite thing. Favorite wild game. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Red breast? Nah, he says garfish. <laughs> you know, really changed his mind about red breast. Yeah, it's, it's, he told me himself, he said, once I had a taste of gar in my mouth, I just, you know, I just never look back. That's all, that's all I'm after these days. So this is for you, Reed. I know you're proud of us. The way that things are going these days, talk about a constant food supply. That's true. Who needs MREs when you got? When you got garfish. There's just loins gar, swimming, loins swimming around right down the creek. Garres. Gar. -res. gar. <laughs> All right. Gar's ready to eat. Pulling that last filet. Being as we have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, it's about midnight and we gotta work tomorrow, so 
We're only gonna clean three of these slimy bastards. Have a nice midnight snack. As in most of my cooking videos on the channel, heat the iron and add butter. So we got our garlic cloves. We get it away, yeah. Garlic in the pan, butter in the pan. We'll go about an inch, about a first digit thickness. And see here, you just got these, it looks like fingerprints. Oh yeah. Straight white meat filet, no bone. And you're gonna fry these like scallops. One side and the other. Got a little salt and pepper kai, salt and pepper, pepper Old Bay mix. Little Greek, little uh, cilantro lime. Um, yeah, that's about it. Doesn't take much. Put plenty of salt and pepper, as is tradition. All right. It doesn't take much with them. Uh, heat up a little bit. How long have we been on? Probably about two minutes. Two, yeah, and we're about done. Oh, there's that color we want. Yeah. Damn. They'll, they'll start flaking apart. There, we got a flake off right there. Try it. Well, honors. It's been about four years, five years for us probably since. Man. Man, that's good. Yeah, you know, they're, they're a problem here. We cleaned three fish and there was at least a dozen few, you know, few inch size minnows coming out of their guts. They're, each one of these fish is probably eating a couple pounds of minnows a night. And dad growing up here 60 years ago, never saw them. So they're, they're new to the habitat. And nobody's eating them, so nobody's catching them. Nobody's killing them, and so. So there's plenty to go around if you're out there looking for some poor man lobster. A little lime, we're missing lemon right now. A little homegrown lemon would be nice. Oh man, that does look good. We're um, just eating meat tonight. Yep, just that's all we need. Just paleo, paleo diet. That's gonna be it for this evening. Uh, I think we got it done here. We caught them, we cleaned them. And, and we cooked and them. And we cooked them. Oh my God. Dude, that just tastes like crab. Yeah, there is hints of crab to it. I just got serious crab, crab vibes. Garfish, it'll give you crab vibes. Thank you guys for watching Unguided. Uh, hammer that like button and subscribe. We're gonna have some new content coming to you soon. We got mahi season just around the corner. Uh, should be uh, about three weeks from now. We should be getting out and going offshore again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, inshore redneck stuff. Uh, it's, it's definitely fun to do and it's uh, good to eat. So. Get out there and get garfish if you can. Thanks for watching, Unguided. It's been a pleasure. Hope you can come back and see us. We'll be doing the same shit, different day. <laughs>